to my channel. Today's video is all about my top 10 what I believe to be essentials uh, for baby. So the first item that I'm going to show you then today is the nappies that I'm using. Since Nehemiah's been born I've been using the Mamiya um, nappies which are an Aldi brand. Um, we're now in stage three. Um, I highly recommend these nappies because they are really good, they keep in uh, the wheeze and the poos and to be honest I think they're better than Pampers. After having used Pampers and Huggies um, and other supermarket brands I would definitely reach for uh, the Mamiya brand because I think that they're really good and also they're not as expensive as the leading brands. The next item I'd like to show you is the Mamiya Sensitive Wipes, which again are Audis, um, really inexpensive. I tend to buy them in bulk, so I think there's about six in the big bag, and they're quite inexpensive as well. So yeah, I would highly recommend them. Um, I've been using them since he was born. Um, I actually stopped using them very, very, for a very, very brief period because I ran out, and so I went for the next brand, which uh, was Huggies, I think Huggies Sensitive that I had. Um, they actually made him develop a really bad rash. He was absolutely red raw. Um, the skin was broken. Um, it was really bad, really, really sore. Um, a friend of mine actually recommended some nappy cream um, after, I'd ha after I'd used, uh, I think I'd used Sud Sudacrem and Vaseline and I didn't really get, he didn't get much relief from that. So then I decided to use the cream that my friend recommended, which is, I've got this sample one here. I don't know if you can see that, if it's in focus, that's Bepanthen. Um, I found this to be an absolutely excellent nappy cream. It cleared the rash within two days um, and healed the skin. Um, I've never actually used it before. Uh, this one I actually got from my bounty, my most recent bounty pack, um, the weaning one. But um, I have been using this. It's, I've had a, used about three or four tubes already and I would highly recommend this cream. Um, yeah, Bepanthen. Um, I think I've, you can get it from most supermarkets. I've brought mine from um, Tesco's, but I think you can probably get it from Sainsbury's, Asda. Um, yeah, so I would highly recommend that for your newborn baby. The next item I'd like to show you, I think is really good because um, at night often, Nehemiah has really bad trap wind, um, uh, you know, um, pains in his stomach, and I always, always reach for the good old fashioned gripe water. Um, yeah, I find that five mils of this, as soon as he starts sort of wriggling, and I can see that he's in any discomfort with his stomach, this gets just uh, goes straight to it and um, deals with those windy problems. So, again, I would highly recommend gripe water. I always say if it's not broken, don't try to fix it. I've been using this. Uh, I started using this when my when my daughter was uh, was a, a baby and she's now 22 years old um, and I've used it with all of my children and I would definitely still recommend Gripe Water. Okay, the next item I'd like to recommend is um, this Tommy Tippy breast pump which comes with all the bits here that are all detachable that you can stick in the steriliser. Um, and wash and then it comes with the motor here which you can put on your different settings um, I would highly recommend this I have actually used the Medela one um, which is the one that I used while I was in hospital and it was really good um, I did find that it was quite expensive so I thought I'd go for the next what I thought to be the next best one which was this the Tommy Tippy one um, and I will say that it does the job yes yeah, so the Tommy Tippy um, breast pump is definitely one that I would recommend. The next thing I'd like to recommend are these, the nook bottles. Um, when Nehemiah was born, um, obviously with having been diagnosed with Down syndrome, they thought that he wouldn't be able to breastfeed. Um, but surprisingly enough, he was able to breastfeed and latch on really well. Um, while we were in the hospital, um, they gave me small sort of cylinder um, nook bottles um, that only held, I can't even remember what the what the maximum measurement was, but I 
found that as he got older he needed more and rather than have to fill two separate bottles I wanted to be able to put that same amount of milk into one bottle and it just saves all the faffing about really. So I found the next stage which were these. Um, these I brought from Boots, I think they're about £6.49 but you can see the teat is very similar to the breast. Um, it's got a groove in here which this groove sort of points upwards and then this part rests in the baby's mouth. Um, he definitely fed better from the, from these bottles in the beginning. Um, however, he's now using the Bobby Browns, uh, Bobby Browns, <laughs> not Michael, the Browns bottles and feeds really well from those. Um, so yeah, just to recommend those maybe as a first stage bottle, um, they were really good. The next thing I'd like to recommend is um, this mild, mild vapor rub which is recommended from three months I don't know if you can see that if it's in focus but I just as I thought really um, after having had a baby during the winter months I found that when I'd take him out um, some nights we'd come back and he'd be quite nasally and um, quite congested um, develop sort of uh, a cough on his, his chest and I found that just a little bit of that just across his nose and on his chest and on his back really did go a long way to um, helping to get rid of all that congestion and all that mucus um, and he was able to breathe a lot more easily at night and um, just have a lot more of a relaxed sleep, a lot more settled sleep. So I would highly recommend that you have um, one of these, especially for babies that are uh, born during the winter months and for just generally in your home, you know, you never know when you're gonna need it. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend that. The next thing I'd like to recommend are these um, little envelope vests, I call them. I think they're called envelope vests, but they've got the pockets down the side and then they sort of have a wrap so you wrap baby first across the middle and there's a poppet, there's a popper there and then three poppers down the side and then obviously the poppers underneath there. I found these really useful, particularly when baby was just born. Um, it just saves having to push the head through and all the rest of it. You know, it's just a lot less stressful for them um, and you just lie them down and then just uh, put the, the outfit on around them. Um, definitely would recommend these. I've got all different ones. I've got this one here with a logo on. I've got stripy ones. I've got plain ones. I've got lots. And um, yeah, because whenever I dress Nehemiah in the morning, I always make sure that he's got a vest on the inside just to keep his body warm. So I would definitely recommend these. And these are from H&M, but they come in all different range, all different colours, um, all different styles, designs. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend those. The next thing that I'd like to recommend then are these little gadgets here. Um, they look like toothbrushes and basically they're for um, getting rid of the um, residue milk then on baby's tongue so maybe in the morning and at night if you want to get your baby into a routine of brushing teeth even though obviously they haven't got teeth yet um, this is a really good way to sort of introduce in the whole um, I suppose you'd say dental hygiene from from an early age um, this it comes with three separate parts so you've got the toothbrush and then you've got this sort of toothbrushy thing that's got like a um, a thing, what is it? It's sort of like a, a plastic thing on the top with all different sort of, uh, I don't know what you would call them, like bobbles and um, you just pull that along the tongue just to get any residue milk off and you can also use this which is a fine sort of toothbrush made from rubber. Again you can use that just to get the um, excess milk off the baby's tongue. Again just introducing it at morning and at night as part of their um, wash routine. So yeah, I really do recommend those. Um, I don't, obviously don't use any toothpaste or anything. All I've been using is just water and just factored it in as part of his daily wash routine. Um, I went over to Primark this week and picked these up, which I thought were quite handy. Um, it's 80p, I paid for them here. They're five toothbrush covers. I think the whole family have had one. <laughs> um, so we've got I thought they'd be quite handy to use on these here just to make sure that they stay clean and sterile until I'm able to use them next time. 
and they fit perfectly. So I've got one there for that for that one and one here for his toothbrush. So that fit quite nicely in, I don't know whether it's his toiletry bag or whatever in his room so they can stay nice and separate from everyone else's. Um, I think that that, oh yeah there was one, one other item actually, quite a big item was this here. Um, this is the Tommy Tippy um, dispenser. It, basically what it does is it's, it holds water at the right temperature. So basically when you make a bottle for baby, it comes out at the right temperature and you can feed baby straight away. It saves all that waiting around, you know, waiting for the milk to cool. Uh, you can just make, make up the bottle and know that it's at the right temperature and you're able to give it to baby straight away. Um, particularly useful for those nighttime in the middle of the night feeds. Uh, when all you need to do is just press a button and it brings out really hot water and then you add the how many how many scoops of milk you uh, your baby requires um, into the bottle on top of that hot water give it a shake pop it back under here and then press the button and it'll fill the the bottle up to your desired amount and then um that's it your baby the baby's bottle will be um the right temperature um you set the gauge here so for example at the minute i think we've been having it on number seven so it'll fill the bottle up to seven ounces um and yeah it'll be be able to feed baby straight away um so yes i think that is it that's my top 10 items that i wanted to share with you um i hope that you enjoyed the video please 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 don't forget to like subscribe and share and there'll be many many more um nehemiah's sleeping at the moment otherwise he would have been in on this video now i said that i will can Continue to make videos with him and if you did like this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share and until next time bye